Hey everybody, Jeremy here again. Just wanted to continue our series with um, our Facebook and Instagram ads epic. Today we are going to work on optimizing the page that we set up the other day. So last episode, if you haven't checked it out, do that real quick. We set up uh, our Facebook page, went kind of through some of the basics, right? Today we're going to dive a little bit deeper into some of the features that I don't know if everybody knows about with Facebook page, specifically about like customizing your columns and things like that and actually giving your page a unique setup that's right for your business um, in addition to setting up those very simple messenger things. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're on our Facebook page now, right? And I just want you to kind of notice these tabs at the top. So we got the page, we got the inbox. Um, inbox, if you have your Instagram linked, will also include your Instagram comments, right? You can see that over here. You got Messenger, your Facebook po comments, and your Instagram comments. Um, these are your notifications. Um, these are going to be, you know, likes, comments, shares, all of that good stuff. Any notification that comes in. Um, insights. We don't have enough likes to get the insights tab yet. At least I don't believe so. Um, but we do have some basic ones. Oh, actually we do now. They used to have a cap on it. But So we have two page views, reach. You can get recommendations, likes, previews, videos, followers, all sorts of good stuff, right? And then it'll go down and break down your actual individual post saying if it's a link or a photo, um, share who it's shared with, what the reach was, things like that, right? So insights, super, super valuable. Very um, important to look through. And then if you see here on the left, you've got a lot more insights, right? Insights specifically about followers and insights specifically about you know messenger, reach, all that good stuff, right? And you can actually learn quite a bit from this. Facebook has a full-on analytics tool that I also don't see a lot of people use, but we'll come back to that another day. Um, insights is going to be a complete section in and of itself. So over here in publishing tools, um, we have our published post, scheduled post, draft, and expired, and you can actually create a post from here. Um, one of the reasons this is valuable is if you look at one of my old videos, I talk about layering um, different uh, layering different ads on top of some of these posts, right? And so you know, being able to look at these posts, grab the post ID and stuff like that is really valuable. Um, creator studio and sound collection uh, over here in the left-hand column, videos, branded content, lead form, and instant experience, which what used to be called Canvas a week ago. Um, and those are super cool. You, I'm going to have to get into those in a little bit because those um, I've gotten 10% click-through rates on some of those, which is just obscene. So um, over here we've got the ad account that we are connected to. We've got ads, audiences, um, all sorts of good stuff. Um, and so what I want to focus on though, is I'm going to go back to the page here. We're going to optimize our page. So <clears throat> as you can see, go up to the settings tab here. That's where we're going to want to start. Um, over here, this is kind of your, this is kind of your center of everything, right? And so over here, you've got general, um, you've got your messaging, page info, templates and tabs, post attribution, messenger platform, roles, people and other pages, preferred page audience, all sorts of good stuff, right? So let's get into this. So let's um, start off with uh, going over to our messaging here. And what we want to do is we can do a frequently asked questions, right? Um, and so you could choose an option or type your own. Um, so we could send instant replies. Um, and with instant replies, that's super useful. You want to keep your having like a close to instantaneous response um, or within minutes is really, really important for Facebook. Um, it helps your page rank organically a lot better. It's also just good customer service to like touch base with somebody, right? Um, instant replies. Um, so you can hit on and it'll do instant reply. Um, stay responsive when you can't get to your computer. Reply to messages anytime you're away. Let them know you'll respond soon. You can turn that on. Show a messenger greeting first time they open it. Um, these are all the default responses. I'm just going to leave those for right now because I'm just going through the features and I'm not like writing copy for them. But, you know, I actually I'll do one of them just to kind of show you what, um, uh, what I want to do here. So, you know, I'm just going to go through and say, so they've got some personalization options here, right? And so, um, you know, thanks for reaching, thanks for reaching out name, right? So first is first name, last name, full name, 
Facebook URL to your page, your website URL, your email, your address. Um, so we're going to start off with first name. Thanks for reaching out. Um, if you would like, are you interested in performance, Amazon, advertising, question mark? If so, check us out here. And then I'm going to add in your website URL, right? Yeah. So this is just like, this is the, that is the messenger greeting. So when somebody opens messenger, that's what they're going to see, right? And so um, appointment messaging, um, you could schedule on Facebook. You could send follow-up messages um, at, with a customer to a book again after your appointment. Very useful. Um, just at least I would suggest turning on the instant replies um, and the messenger greeting. Um, very useful to kind of bring up those numbers around messenger and such, um, as well as um, continue to uh, continue to uh, um, keep up that, that great reputation score because it does matter a lot. So um, we're going to get rid of that. And then we've got our hours. I believe I went through that last time. And then we have our dollar amounts, right? Templates and tabs. Now, this is a super interesting one. A lot of people don't know about this, but you can actually change your template here, the way that your Facebook page is laid out. So you can do... You know, you can do business here with your buttons on the page, tabs. Um, it shows what tabs you have, right? Um, the button on the toolbar, like follow, share, save, that sort of stuff, right? And you can see kind of how business is different from services a little bit, which is what we're using right now, um, which is there's a few different uh few different like tabs over here on the left right and so it's not like fully like website customizable or whatever right but it does give you some degree of customization and then you can actually go down <coughs> reorder these tabs so let's say you know i want <coughs> this is very community oriented right like i love my community i love making stuff for you guys so i want community right at the top right and i'm going to mess with the settings on that so that's what the URL to share the tab with people directly. Um, so you can kind of look and see, you know, show the services tab is that on, show the reviews tab on, info and ads. Um, that's a new one. That's interesting. If you go to a competitor's page, just a pro tip for you, go to a competitor's page and click info and ads, which they're required to have. Um, what will end up happening is uh, you will have to, or they will, you'll be able to see what ads they're presently running live. So a little bit of, a little bit of spying for you there, but, um, so templates and tabs, go ahead and feel free to like play with those a little bit until you get exactly where you want. Um, post is moonshine exchange, post is yourself, right? Notifications. Um, you can do, you know, edit notifications for me, right? And get emails, um, you know, text messages, whatever, um, messenger platform, um, you can do, you can do some interesting stuff here. So, um, you can link your app to your page. You can whitelist domains, um, with messenger. You can do, um, a messenger link exactly there. So if you want to share just your messenger link with folks, right. Um, you can also do, um, uh, subscription messaging, right. So people can subscribe to get some of your content. Um, if you, um, if you're allowed to do, to do that, um, you know, you can, uh, allow business integrations connect to your page to ask, have access to the language, time zone, and gender of people that are, um, messaging your page. You can set up a customer chat plugin on your website. This is a really cool feature. I highly recommend it. You can kind of do, it's like, so for those of you that don't want to pay for like, uh, an Olark or something like that, this is a nice little workaround where you can have, Facebook Messenger on your website, it's a little messenger icon and people could click it and message you through your Facebook page, right? So that way you already got it on your phone. You already are able to do that, um, do all of that, right? And so you got a greeting here. I'm just setting it, click the setup real quick. Um, automatically set response times, custom colors, like you could set up and then you just drop this into your this little snippet of code into your website, right? And when you do that, um, you're able to then 
um, or email it to your developer. And so this is like the the where you whitelist the domains. I can show you in case any of you feeling really funny and want to add my <laughs> add my code snippet to your domain so that I'm suddenly getting a bunch of weird messages that I don't understand. But like that's really it. So you just drop this into the header section. Um, or after, I'm sorry, in the body tag, um, right after the opening body tag in, um, every single, uh, in every single page that you want it to show up. So really, really cool feature, highly recommended, very, very cheap. Um, and you know, super simple to install on stuff like, uh, WordPress and, and things like that. And so, um, I'll actually go ahead and do that when I do, um, I'll do a video for that as well because I'm going to do one where I install the pixel here in the future. So um, going through page roles, right, that's just who's assigned to your page, at what level. They can do admin, editor, moderator, advertiser, analyst. Those each have different things associated with them. I'll go through roles on your pages another day. Um, people and other pages. So this is where you can, like, see other pages that like um, – uh, like your page and stuff, and you can give them permissions to comment and things like that, or you can block them, whatever. Um, preferred page audience um, used to be a feature. Apparently, they removed that. Um, they used to ask, you know, what exactly page audience do you want? And supposedly, your organic reach would then head towards those folks. So, um, authorizations. Um, so this is an interesting one. So this is like if you're running political ads, right? And I've actually even gotten flagged for, I mean, we'll get into political ads later also, but I've actually even gotten flagged for political ads for like a funny t-shirt I was trying to sell. So um, if you're running uh, political ads, definitely check that out. You need to be doing that before you could start running political ads. Um, branded content, this is influencer stuff, which is really interesting, right? And so... Um, you could turn on approvals and things like that for pages to be able to, um, uh, you can turn on approvals and things like that. Um, and so, you know, only approved pages can then, um, tag you, you could block specific pages, right. But like other letting other pages. So just basically controlling what other pages can actually like talk about your brand, right. If you want, um, I'm going to leave that off for right now. Instagram, this is where you would actually connect your Instagram. I'm going to set up Instagram next episode. Um, so going to go ahead and um, I'm going to do that. Um, and we can kind of run through that together. Or not next episode, but um, another episode here in the future. So um, featured, um, you could feature other pages, right? So like if you have like a network of pages, like, you know, like I would, I have a few different pages, um, for my business and stuff, right. And based on just different specialties, I focus on things like that. And so I can add those in as featured pages, cross posting, um, cross posting allows you to, you know, another page to post videos on each other's behalf. Um, though, so that's like, that's like your influencer stuff, right. And so you can add pages in there and post videos on each other's behalf. Um, so, you know, if like, Kim Kardashian really wanted to post one of my killer videos, right, that I posted. I would have to add her in here. Um, so support inbox, that's if you've got, you know, a question that you need to ask Facebook. And then a Wi-Fi network. So that's actually interesting. You can add a public Wi-Fi network if you have, like, a physical location. This matters, like, quite a bit for some folks. So going back to the page here. We're going to pop into some of this stuff. So one of the things that, you know, we'll start off with info and ads. I'm not running any ads right now. Um, but you can do, you know, you've got a marketing agency. We went through category last time. We went through name. We're going to go through, you know, we're going to go through set up a username. And we're going to do that. Page is ineligible, probably because it's too new. Um, so I'll come back and set up another one and add in your phone number. You can add in contact info, email, your website, other accounts, and Imprezium, Imprezium, which is a, um, which, which is a thing for Europe, which is my understanding, um, company overview. So you can do, you know, um, founded in 2018 with one mission, make Amazon ads suck less for entrepreneurs with amazing products, right? And so you can go and do a kind of a company overview. You can do founding date, you know, all sorts of stuff. You can do add products, menu, privacy policy, 
um, that sort of stuff. You can add your team members if you so want. And then you've got, you know, your story over here. So you can do this canvas story uh, or the, I'm sorry, the full, whatever they're calling it now, full screen experience, a story um, for like what your company is all about. Um, this is where you could create events, post. Um, we kind of went through that a little bit, but that's just your posts. This is your videos, photos, those are self-explanatory offers. Now, this this matters a lot if, um, you know, you're like a business that runs on like a lot of coupons or two-for-ones or like, you know, um, if you're like, even if you're in services like me and you want to do like free audits or something like that, that's where you would put those. Um, people claim that this is for e-commerce really, but you can set up your shop and you do that through setting up your, or when you set up your catalog, um, and I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do that later when I go through product catalogs, but, um, very, very powerful tool, right. And necessary, um, in order to run those canvas full screen experience ads, um, that are so, so useful. And it seems to have frozen up, so I gotta reload the page real quick. My bad. Um, so community going on, community here. Um, you can create groups, so pages can actually own groups now. So if you follow me on Facebook, which you all should be doing, daily marketing, um, we uh, we have like oh, we have a little community here that's growing, um, and you know a couple twenty some odd people um, that consume my content on Facebook. And, you know, those folks, um, that group is owned by me, the page, right? Like my entrepreneur page profile. So, um, I own the group through there. So you can start groups. Very, very useful. A lot of companies, um, I know of specifically, I want to say it was Craftsy. Um, I've heard has grown really through owning groups, like, and then like funneling those users into their, um, product from there. So really smart stuff. Um, review or sorry, services, you can add a service, right? And so, um, service name, Amazon advertising, um, duration varies, Let's show the service, right? So I'm not going to add, so that's one of the services I offer. So just like fill out those services again, especially like if you're like, you know, kind of business where it's like flat fee sort of deal, right? And, you know, you're really trying to get people to buy a couple of your services to come in the door. That's always useful. This is where your reviews live. Um, and I already went through shop. Hopefully it doesn't freeze up on me again. And it did. So I actually have to reload. And then finally, um, super important, um, set up your button. This is really easy just do, do the button, right? Like it's, so you can set up people to book times with you, contact you, learn more about your business, shop with you, download your app or play a game. Right. And so I'm going to have set up times. I'm going to say you can book now with me. Um, and I am going to, uh, you know, say you can book with my Google calendar. I'm going to connect to Google here and I'm going to, that well, access right there we go and so that's going to be um that's going to be connected to my google calendar now so now you all can come to the page if you want a consultation for your amazon business and set up a time for like a free strategy consultation so that would be the goal there and hopefully that hurries up yep and so there's the service done boom finish right so you can set up advertising or you can book now with me right off of the page right and so super super useful i'm going to test the button real quick you know oh, no times available too sad so sad actually it's not showing any times available at all i gotta work on that and maybe debug that a little bit but super useful um definitely ch definitely set up your button um, whatever that is, right? If it's download my app or book now with me or learn more or what have you. Um, very, very useful. So um, just going through the page too. Um, as you can see now, you can post a lot more than you used to be able to, right? And I actually want to expand that out. So support a nonprofit. You could check in, tag products, ad advertise, get messages, list, polls, directions, milestones, feelings, right? Photos, videos. You can go live. You can set up an event. You can set up an offer, right? And so super useful stuff. So I would say the biggest things that if you're going to take it away here is just go through 
all this stuff. Be super familiar with your page, right? Set up all of the necessary information. Tell your story. Set up your button. Definitely have, you know, a decent profile picture and cover photo, right? Um, and just go through it all and just make it, you know, like people win. When you're going to try and acquire new customers online, the first thing people ask themselves is, can I trust this person? Do they look legit, right? And so one of the easy ways of doing that is just go through all of this stuff, make sure it's completely filled out and, you know, just be real about it. Tell the truth, like, you know, get people to understand that you're a real business um, and that they should connect with you. So that's all for right now. Um, thanks for watching this video on page optimization. If anybody has any specific questions, let me know. Always in the comments, happy to help out. I try to respond as many as I can. And if I forget, just message me and I'll respond again. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Happy marketing.